you're looking for the ultimate Google Analytics 4 video for e-commerce, stay tuned because this video is for you. All right, so many of you know, if you're watching this video, you have an understanding of GA4. What's happening is Universal Analytics, or actually GA3, is going kaput. It's leaving us, July 1st, 2023. The countdown is on. But anyways, all of that data, all of the tracking, all of the information, what's gonna essentially happen for everything we're understanding is that literally it will show zero traffic, zero anything, zero data. It's gone, kaput, sayonara, see you later. So what's happening is GA4 is here and it's been here for a little while, but because now it's crunch time, it's there's no more. We have like seven months as of this video being recorded, which is December 7th. You're probably watching it December 14th or here sometime after. But anyways, GA4 is happening. And so all of us are preparing. So what does that mean? That means we need to do a deep dive into GA4 specifically for conversion tracking and optimization. So let me show you quickly right here. So what's gonna happen if you have a regular analytics account and let's just see if this still shows up. You're actually going to have this little screen up here and it says universal analytics will no longer process new data and standard properties beginning July 1st. Prepare now. And so what you can do is you can say, let's go. And essentially this will automatically set up based on using your UA tracking codes. So for example, let's just do it. I've already set it up. So it'll go right here and then let's go to explore our GA4 property. Now we have not set up anything on our GA4, but I wanna show you what we just did for a client of ours that the reporting is remarkable. All right, so you guys can see, I'm sure you're used to seeing this in GA. We have their users, revenue, conversion rate sessions, you know, phenomenal, great. If we're going into different e-commerce sections, the data began to get warped a little bit. So if you see, let's go into GA4. And I want to show you the before and after what we've been able to accomplish using Google Analytics 4. So as you guys can see, all of these dates, we had absolutely no tracking. We implemented GA4. And you'll start to see there's some data coming in. Now, what's happening is it's going to pull from the universal analytics setup. But that wasn't enough for us. And this account is on big commerce. And we needed to create multiple data layer variables in order to pull the correct information to have enhanced e-commerce tracking. So that's exactly what we did. So as you can see, over the first couple of days, we're seeing organic search zero, cross network zero, paid shopping 9.42, 16, you start to see data coming in. And this was because we were slowly implementing different events in order to track all of our Google shopping ads. So as we went through, you can start to see we're now getting way more data coming through and all of our purchases, ad cost conversions, total revenue is coming through perfectly. Now you'll see total revenue is different because we had this connected perfectly through the Google Ads API. The total revenue is completely different. So now if we go over the last few days, you'll see $600 $358 spent, $849 generated, return on ad spent 2.37, rough couple of days, but nonetheless, all of the tracking is now done perfectly. If you guys are finding this video useful, helpful, informative, I would really appreciate it if you go ahead, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get right back into GA4. So you might be wondering, okay, great, your data is correct, you've implemented GA4, well, how did you do that? Well, we went into Google Tag Manager and our developer wrote amazing scripts so that we had custom data layers implemented in order to track every single event. So now we have, because of all of these data layers, you can see all them, begin checkout, add to wishlist, add to cart, add shipping information, select item, view cart, view item, add payment info, all of these different things implemented. We now can go into GA4 and say, okay, as we're going through this, I'm gonna add a filter, Google CPC, apply that. We now see over the last three days, just to keep apples to apples, we have a total of 57,000 total events. 
which are all of these different data layers that were created in order to track. And you can see it as we get down here, purchases. So we can start to dive even deeper. We can begin to track across all of these conversions to account for the total revenue and then the days to conversions. So cross network is the new performance max, any smart campaign, YouTube, all those go into cross network, paid shopping, direct organic search, et cetera, et cetera. So you'll see that cross network takes about a half day for people. One touch points or conversions, organic search four, two, and then they're coming back through cross network. So because we've implemented all these various data layers, which let me tell you, I don't know how to do. Thankfully our developer does absolutely crushed it for us. We can go into triggers and those triggers are going to be based on the clicks and the elements of the scripts that we put on there. So that includes Google Pay, Amazon Pay, Overtime, Credit Card, all of these different things are now triggering to provide us with an amazing amount of information using GA4. Right now, my team is offering an absolutely free no strings attached marketing review. If you go ahead, click the link down below in the description where it says free marketing review. My team will reach out, get the information we need and provide you with the ultimate growth plan for growing your business. Let's get back into GA4. You can quickly look at the amount of revenue over two days based on the conversions, accounting for them, the revenue. You can start to go in and create your own reports including all different types of options, users, events, sessions, purchasers. We can look at the different templates of demographics and acquisitions. First user source contains, let it load, Google. And so we can build out all of these custom reports now that show an immense amount of data that we didn't necessarily have prior to GA4. But the point of this video is to make sure that you are absolutely working to implement GA4. It is super important because Google is leaving. Universal Analytics is kaput. So make sure to look into GA4. Reach out to us if you have any questions. Be happy to share any more information. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. It's really important, especially if you're running Google Ads, which I just made a video about. So if you want to click that video right up here, all about Google Shopping Ads, really helpful, really informative. I hope you guys found this useful. Please let me know if you have any questions because this stuff is pretty complex. Leave a comment down below and we'll see you at the next video.